the newest fast food restaurant in town, Burger King. Woo! longest time we only had McDonald's and Steinbeck we think we know why I think it was the previous owners that sort of blocked all other restaurants from opening I think they were friends with people in the council city council and stuff that's a conspiracy Steinbeck conspiracies but it's kind of obvious now that they sold yeah and as soon as they sold suddenly we have a Wendy's we have a Burger King we have a Barberito we have, a Barberito. We have options now we still love McDonald's Still, that's still my favorite for their fries. Like when we're talking fast food, it's not like we eat it all the time. It's just now and then. But when you do treat yourself, nothing beats large McDonald's fries. Extra salt. I don't know. I don't like them as much as I used to. I like Wendy's now. They taste more like food, less like oil. I like Wendy's burgers better. Yeah. Any burgers are better than McDonald's burgers. Yes. Any but. Wendy's is pretty good, though they've been going downhill a little bit. The burgers keep getting thinner and thinner, doing the same thing that McDonald's did. More expensive. More expensive and thinner Less patties. Quality. Yeah. A&W. Uh, I gotta say, that's my favorite, because they got the onion rings. Teen burger with onion rings and a root beer. <clears throat> Too salty. Every time I eat that, eat A&W, I feel like I need like six bottles of water, and that still doesn't yeah. cut it. I'm dehydrated till the next day. I like it salty. Whoppers. That's where it's at. Coming soon. It was supposed to open mid-December already. Not a surprise. But due to COVID, <laughs> we're still get we're still getting that uh, that excuse. So I'm gonna head over to the shop right now. Uh, Dad's over at his shop, which is right nearby. He's gonna come and help me install that uh, rear uh, brake light panel that I bought, and uh, I'm gonna get those new marker lights installed today. That's the plan. I'm gonna go home and nap because that's all I feel like I can do today. I don't feel very good. What is today? December 31st. No, what day of uh... Oh, 27 weeks, trimester three, baby. We're in the home stretch. Three more months. Yeah, I sure feel it. <laughs> today has been a rough one. Got all our tools out and ready. Old Blue's getting a bath once I'm done because the shop is nice and warm right now and I want to work on these while it's actually warm. So we're up here and uh, you can see the one in the back there is like raving out there. And that's been like that for about a few days now. It almost makes it look like I have my beacons on at night. So that's not good. But you see the front is flashing there. This is one that's supposed to be lit up here too, right? The front's supposed to be lit up. Sides are supposed to be lit up and that but only these top pieces have been lit up and this one is still lit up it's just not completely and i'm i'm gonna test it now hopefully that's not the wiring inside underneath because then i've got a bigger problem hopefully it's just the led that's that's just on its you know dying breath here so i was gonna replace all of these because as you can tell some of them need to be replaced but uh, these screws that are screwed down into the cab here are really tight. And even with my impact drill, uh, or my impact uh, driver, I couldn't get them to turn. So I'm scared of either stripping them or breaking them off. And right now there is nothing open. If I break off one of these screws, I don't have a spare one. And there's nothing open where I can go get those parts and we have to leave tomorrow. I have to go pick up a load in Minnesota. So, uh, I decided to leave this on for now and we'll change them out maybe after winter. It's a little dirty outside right now anyways. So we'll change them out after winter. I'm just gonna change just, just these pieces for now. From the ground, you won't even be able to tell. You can't see those things from the ground. All you can see are the lights, right? 
So I'm gonna do this row first. And then we're gonna move up to that row over there. And that one's very excited. He's just having a party over there. It's a bit of a raver. You do you, buddy. All right. The problem is that he parties while we drive. And I don't like that too much because it might confuse other drivers coming towards me thinking that I have an oversized load behind me if, if what looks like a beacon is flashing, right? It's very bright at night. And here you can tell it's just that, but my beacons are here. All right, let's get this done. I'm gonna get these both these rows replaced and then dad's gonna come over and we're gonna do the taillights. Here's all the new ones. Most of them are still in the wrapper. You see they came with the whole housing and everything too. But I'm just, I'm just too nervous to strip or break off one of those bolts and that has to seal onto my roof. So I'm gonna be driving into the snow and you know when it melts it turns to water and if it's not sealed properly to my roof, and screw down tight, water can get into, into my truck, inside my roof, and cause all kinds of mold and damage in there and short stuff out and I don't know. I don't know, worst case scenario, right? It would be bad. So we don't want water getting in there and if I break off one of these bolts, it's not gonna be properly sealed. So I'm gonna just undo these little screws on here and just take these out, they'll fit onto the other ones. And in summertime, uh, I'll replace these. Or I can keep them as spares too, you know? but I'll replace the housing. Then when I have uh, a little bit more time, uh, maybe a few more tools and the ability to go buy parts if I break any. This here is the panel that I bought for the back. The tail and brake lights here, backup lights and red lights across there. At least I think that's how it is. I think those are backup lights. And we'll see, and the license plate goes in there and that goes, uh, that'll match these when they're clean and go right under there. Good news and bad news. Good news is, it works. See that one just off to the center right over there? So let me get over there. It works great. However, it's not gonna work with the old housing. Unfortunately, the brand is a little bit different. If you look at the bottom of these, there's a big gap in here, you see? That's where that goes. It fits on there nicely. This doesn't have that gap in there, so it doesn't fit on there. I have to get the housing off as well. And I have to use the housing that's designed for it. You see that? See, there's lights on the side, top, side, they all work. Beautiful. But I do need to get these off. Uh, shoot. Shoot! All right, we've had success. And I'll show you how we did it. So I did get the housing off of there. That's the new one on this side here. And the trick that I used was this right here. <laughs> Gave me enough leverage to get those bolts out of there and they didn't break off, they didn't strip. So let's hope that the rest of them are just as nice to me. Okay, so I'm gonna get them all done now and I'll show you what they look like when I'm finished or maybe I'll talk to you halfway through. Yeah, well, let's, let's do the front and then I'll show you the difference between the front and the back. I'll do the front, I'll talk to you in a bit anyway, all right? Very excited. <laughs> I think success. I love success. Well, dad's here now. And we've got oh. the riveter out. Hopefully I don't cause more trouble than good. So far you're fixing things that I broke. So uh, I was uh, taking these screws out of the housing and my worst fear, like I said before, the bolt broke off in the rivet. So now we've got to put new rivets in there. And we don't have exactly the same kind as what they did have. Mm -hmm. But hopefully this will work. I have a little bit of my doubts because that thing in there is a little bit too small. It has a little bit too much clay in there. Mm -hmm. It may not develop a big enough cap behind there to actually suck it down, stay it there. And if it does, great than these original bolts. They will fit perfectly, but. Problems, problems, always problems. So what I've done is I've figured out how to use the old housing. I'll show you in a minute. Let's see if this works. See you. Suspense, drum roll. 
Looks like it stayed. Looks like so far it stayed. All we needed to do is it just to hold the, the housing down. Let's see if I have that. This bolt is, is the one that broke, so this one has a bad start. I can't start it with that one. You gotta get the other one. I think the one that was in here. Do you have that one down down there? Uh, I guess I have it down, down there. I, I put my don't think in. it's no. here anywhere. So we're gonna have to do this for all of these eventually, but for now what I'm doing is I'm making these new lights work in the old housing. They fit almost perfect, almost perfect. No one will notice from the, from down on the ground. That's right, no one can see it from No one can see it, it's just, way. these are a little bit old, you see that there. But that, that'll be a project for a summer day when we've got nothing else to do, which is never. We're gonna have to take all of these off and probably put new rivets in all of these. But uh, yeah, so we're just replacing this housing here and then using the same housing. You see, these have a flat bottom that I showed you on the other ones before already, and the others have a, an indent in here. And there was a piece sticking up in here that went into that indent. And since these are flat, they didn't fit on there. So I took a saw. I don't know what that piece was on there for, but it was useless. So I just cut that off, and put the seals on here, and then they fit. And it looks like that. And we're done. Oh. Well, the bolt fits in there nice, feels nice and snug. If that fits, if that works, awesome. And then Dad saved the day again. Well, it's not quite saved yet, so. <laughs> I have a long way to go so I can teach my son these things someday. Or my daughter, whoever's, whoever it's gonna be in three months. No, it is, nowadays more and more that daughters become heavy duty truck drivers. Maybe, yeah. I just and have so much. I don't even, I don't have all the tools for this. I don't know how to do this until now, I guess. But yeah, I've got to pass this knowledge on to the next generation. So I better pay attention here. <laughs> yeah, I picked it up just as, uh, as I ran along, you know. <laughs> First break a whole bunch of things and oh, that's not the way it works. So <laughs> I'm in the process of breaking a lot of things. <laughs> Eventually I'll figure out how everything works and how to fix it. First I gotta break a few things. Okay, where is he? That's yeah. down there. I saw that down there already. That's going to be one new housing that we're using. Uh, okay. All right. That one. And then we, that should work just fine. Okay. I'm going to we'll just be very up. careful. Leave this one up here. I'll uh, update you as we uh, progress here. Don't worry. Dad's on scene. Everything will be okay. <laughs> we'll get your hooks up too, Ad. <laughs> Beautiful. We got the front row all on and sealed. Dad was able to get that rivet in there that worked. And I just, I'm just testing the back ones there now. I've just got to screw them into their housing. And that's it. I didn't get the signals on the fender done today yet, but maybe tomorrow before I leave, those shouldn't take too long. But every time I say that, it takes a long time. So we'll uh, see what's going on. I got paparazzi back here taking pictures of me. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you can't get away. <laughs> uh, and Dad fixed my tail lights. I, we're gonna have to get a special custom steel bar made to in, to install the new tail lights. But the old tail lights had broken through. The bolts had broken through. Dad was able to get the bolts off and put big washers on there, and re-secure the old ones on for now. We we don't have time to weld together a whole new piece of steel. We don't have the steel right now either, and everything's closed, and it's late. And so that'll be a project. And it's New Year's, yeah. So that'll be a project for another day. I might even just get our shop, uh, like where I bring it for services, for them to do it, because they got steel workers there who could get it done in, in an hour, probably. You yeah, have a feeling that we do, you probably you say to yourself, no money we do in that part of stuff, because we have to specially get that steel bracket made. And those guys that do it, they do a great job, but they're expensive. Yeah. That's not my truck. Over here, Dad's shop, we're bringing his tools back. Oh, I'm supposed to be opening this door. So Dad just got his hood painted. It's kind of dirty now. I had it nicely washed for, uh, what was it, the day before. Mm -hmm. He actually did a really good job. And then they asked me to do one more short trip to, uh, to Deep River. Oh, yeah. And 
we got it all splashed up, but. Huh, it still looks good. Did you get the visor painted too? Yep, I got the visor painted as well. And he's got the old C15, right? It's a C15, yeah, they have it there. The good block, uh, it's, oh, it, uh, six and two or six, uh, something like that. What uh, year is this truck? Oh, three. No, three. Old school. Uh, well, this Put engine's done uh, close to three million miles already. Yikes. So, and it's never been rebuilt? Yes, it has been uh, rebuilt once. It, oh, okay. The top end has been rebuilt uh, uh, a bit over a million miles ago. Okay. Still going strong. Old school. Put dinosaur juice in it and go. Yeah. And then every tool known to mankind is somewhere in here. <laughs> if you can think of it, it's here. If it hasn't even been invented yet, it's probably here already. It's got a hoist, barrels. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of oil. It's an oil gun. You have an oil gun. I didn't know you had one of those. Look at this, you uh... I got it recently. A good buddy of mine was so kind to me yesterday. Yeah, and it's supposed to be working nice. The barrel is empty, but uh, if you want to fill it up with oil, we'll get a new barrel for engine oil yeah. and set that thing and put the air line to it yeah. at whatever amount of liter I want, 36, 38 liters per engine, and it will choo, 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 until it's all done. It'll <laughs> shut itself off. Yeah, one of those, and just in case you get bored, you got a little GT yeah, over here. Sliding. You're sledding. You got a whole bunch of light sockets over here. A hitch for pulling your pickup behind your semi, just in case. Yeah. Something, whatever that is, just in case. That's an oil pump uh, to, uh, if I have an, uh, I probably won't use it. Uh, it's an uh, oil pump, like if I have a barrel, those big containers full of old oil, and I want to pump it into, like a truck comes and picks it up. Oh, okay. And if you don't have pump itself, just stick this hole in there, switch it on, that hose. <laughs> Well, it sucks it all out, pumps it into the truck. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give me a whole bunch of fuel conditioners, you know, those, all those fuel conditioners over all there. in there, eh? Got a bandsaw here, cut my finger open on this once when I was a kid, when I was oh, yeah, playing I with that. Dad's tools when I wasn't supposed to. I cut my finger, it wasn't that bad. Sliced about maybe halfway up my finger now. I think I still got a, a warped Maybe. nail from that. I don't know which one it was. Long time ago, I <laughs> touched oh, it that. and zip. That was a close one. Yeah. Of losing your finger, oh. and that would suck it right in there. Playing with dad's tools when I shouldn't have. I think I was probably maybe around 10, Sound 8 like to 10. You weren't a teenager yet, anyway. No, I was just a kid. Didn't know what I was doing. Then, whatever else he's got on these shelves here, just in case. He's got some headlight bulbs there. Look at that. Not very well organized, but I know pretty well where all this crap is at and what it's for. <laughs> Whole bunch of wrenches. Sockets. Little screws, big screws, all the screws. Socket sets. Grinder. Uh, what's it called? Vice grip. A drill press. Drill press. That Heater just like dad. It's a small one, but it works nice. Yeah. The wall's all filled with tools. This is what I mean when I say dad's got every tool you can imagine plus more. <laughs> and this here, this beast, just for fun. He's got a big a air compressor. Mine, a friend of mine, another trucker, wanted to get rid of it. Didn't work right for him. So mm -hmm. I uh, did a little bit of fixing on it and it worked great. Yeah. Now he can get uh, his tires off himself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> got, the, got the big gun guns to it, and this one thing will get the big air guns going. That my sister Cheryl made for him. Martin's workshop, where all the fixing happens, and where all the things he might use one day live. He might use one day. <laughs> Maybe, just in case. <laughs> yeah, you can see uh, he had a lot of paint missing on here before, right on his fenders. That's yeah. all fixed up now. It's almost all gone already, and then I, at the same time I put these nice Basil's on here, but new lights on these here. I thought Quite those were new in here. Huh? Grill, yeah. I thought these were new. They looked very yeah. shiny and new. Yeah, they are new. I just put them on now when, when I put the truck back on. I just gotta get some better headlights on there. Oh, okay. I use them what I had, so I might as well use yeah. them up first and then 
And just in case you need to touch the sky, there's uh, ladders that can get you all the way up to heaven over there. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long ways up there, yeah? And if you want to hold up the clouds a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's almost up there, not quite, almost. Guitars, steering wheels, tape. Now you know what I mean. Wait, I just messed up. <laughs> like, everything is mixed up there. One day, one day, I might even organize it. Eh? One day. Well, you know where everything is, that's all that matters. I, I know pretty well where everything is at. It looks really messy, but I know where it's at. All right, back over in my shop. Not quite as many tools. Now you know how big the shoes are that I have to fill. I've got a kid on the way. I gotta make sure that uh, I hold up this reputation of handyman, you know? Okay, I'm gonna crawl up there, finish this up, and we're gonna go home. Done. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. I think it's worth it, what do you think? It's gonna look even better at night on the road. How you feeling? Pregnant? Really pregnant. How's third trimester? I'm only one day into it. Um, so far, exhausting, but rewarding. If there's a baby in there that won't stop kicking, and won't let me sleep. Still kicking? Yep. So on those marker lights, uh, I don't know if I explained it fully in the vlog here or not, but uh, I showed you how that old housing had that piece that came up with those two bolts in it that served no purpose whatsoever, but the old marker lights had that indent on the inside that could go over that piece, and the new ones were flat. So instead of risking breaking off all the bolts and having to re-rivet every single bolt in the roof, uh, what we decided to do was make the old housing work with the new lights. Dad had a little handsaw that I forgot to show you while I was at the shop. I has a little handsaw and I cut that piece off. It was just plastic. It looked like, it looks like metal, right? But it's just plastic. It served no purpose. I don't know what it was doing there. So the new lights could fit on there flush. So I had to go on each one and saw it off like a little lumberjack. It was a bit of extra work, but that way I didn't have to risk breaking off more bolts because that was a, a nightmare. And it would have taken a long time to re-rivet re every single one. So that's a project for the future when we do that. But other than that, it looks good. We'll be ready to head on the road the next day. And thanks for watching. <laughs>